welcome to Talking Cybos. Each day, we will bring you news and views from the people who really matter. That's you, the delegates. My co-host, Nadine Jeriza, is down on the exhibition floor right now. They, Nadine, who do you have with you? Well, I've found loads of people, but first up, I've got Simon, and we're in the thick of the registration area, and I've just found out that Simon is his first Cybos, so welcome, Simon. Thank you very much. What are you doing here? Uh, I was asked to come and speak about uh, an, a subject called situational awareness and how companies compete, and yes, this is my first Cybos. I, I heard somebody talking about... Being a Cybos virgin, I mean, that's what I am. I do not, uh, I've never been here. Uh, it's, I've never seen this environment. I've never seen these companies. So it's, it's a great time for me. Well, you're in for an absolute treat. So you're one of the official speakers. So, and you're in the Inner Tribe session, aren't that's you? That's right, yes. Well, that's a very exciting one. And Inner Tribe has been growing from strength to strength over the years. So you're in safe hands. So what can we expect, Simon, when we come to your session? Oh, blimey. Well, so what I'm going to do is take um, people through a scenario where they're the members of a board of a company, they get to choose a number of strategic options, then I'm going to teach them how to map the environment, and we'll see um, see if they change their opinion at the end. I, won't, I don't want to give away the secret, uh, because people uh, will hopefully turn up, but uh, unfortunately most organisations have what we call very poor levels of situational awareness, so they tend to take uh, strategic choices and actions without understanding the environment. The best way of thinking about it is it's like generals fighting a battle without ever looking at the map. And what I do is I show them there is a map. And so you're great at situational awareness. That's what I specialise in, yeah. Fabulous. Are there many people like you out there? I've never heard of one of these kind of experts. Well, OK, so it's totally accidental. Um, so what happened uh, is I used to be CEO of a software company. I've been involved in building four companies, all sold to bigger US firms. Terms. Um, and I was competing against others, and I suddenly realized uh, when looking at my strategy documents, which were just like everybody else's meme copying, that there was something missing. And what was missing was an understanding of the landscape and a map. And so that's what I did. But I then assumed for about five years everybody else must be doing this. And then I discovered they weren't. And so that's what I do these days. I teach governments and very huge corporations how to map their environment. You sound very important. Are you oh, going no, to be... not at all. Well, we think you are. <laughs> Thank you. Are, are you going to be appearing with anybody else during the session, or uh, is it a standalone by you? Well, there's a couple of other people in the session. Um, so what happens is we take people through a scenario, we give them the choices, we teach them how to map, and at the end we look at you know, their results compared to where they started. Now, I know you're new this year. Yes. And have you downloaded the app yet? No. Right, so that's one of your first do you know, tasks to do. Uh, my first task was just getting a pass and getting here. Yes. So, so I've done that bit yeah. now. Yeah. Now it's just sort of wander around, go, gosh, it's big. And then the next bit is, of course, get something like the app so I don't get lost. Yes. So uh, are you sort of having a look, a fact-finding mission today? Have you got any idea what conferences or exhibition stands you want to look at? Absolutely none. This is total, you know, total blank slate, serendipity, we'll see what happens. OK, well, I'll tell you what, what you need is the Cybos app. Thank also, you. Cybos issues. OK. So I'm giving you some top tips you here. You are. That will give you a whole stream of ideas on what you want to see. How about cyber security? Is that, is that keeping you awake at night? So I, um, no. Um, so yes and no, I suppose, is the answer. I, I used to work in the security field. I used to do... Uh, security for uh, um, Harrods, actually. Uh, I've taken a long interest in the subject. So um, if there's cyber security here, I'll certainly be having a wander around. I thought you were posh, actually. That's your background, is it? No, 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 not, not at all. I, I, I'm from a council estate in South London. Yes. It just happens to be that um, I, where I edu was educated, I suddenly picked up an accent for no good reason whatsoever. Well, we wish you all the best Thank at you. Cybus. Good luck with your talk tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'm sure the world and everybody else will come along to see it. So, Simon, great pleasure to you. So, Steve, as you can see, it's been very busy down here on the registration floor, and I'll be back again uh, later on. So, back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Lord Nadine. It is truly buzzing indeed. I can see people streaming in all the way, so it's going to be a busy morning. Now, one successful element from last year's conference was the Art at Cybos exhibition. And earlier, we caught up with Stephanie Gurnias to ask about the art you will see at this year's conference and the charity in Geneva that it is raising money for.
welcome Stephanie from SWIFT. Great to have you here. What was the chosen charity for this year's Cybos event? And can you tell us a little bit about them? So the chosen charity for Cybos this year is the Anouk Foundation. They actually send artists to hospitals, especially in institutions, um, nursing homes. And uh, together with the doctors, the artists will uh, paint walls, stairs, and um, they will uh, make the environment more welcoming and reassuring. And what is the project that's actually going to be created over the next few days here? Two artists from the Anouk Foundation will come in the exhibition hall and during Cybers they will paint two big frescoes. One piece will be about uh, financial topics. It will really reflect the conference agenda about the team transforming the landscape. And the second fresco will be more uh, concrete because it's, um, it's a demand from an emergency home for children. And they will actually take uh, the art piece with them at the end of Cybers and they will install it in their premises. How is the money being raised? So actually we have uh, a game on the Swift stand and the participants can come and play. It involves stacking cows as high as possible. It requires some skills and luck as well. So each time uh, there is a game played, we give to the charity. Are you proud of this chosen charity? And if so, why? We are very proud to support this charity because it's really, um, it brings something in the life of the patients. It's, it's not nice to stay in the hospitals. And when you see these artists painting, and when you see the testimonials of the doctors, it's a project close to my heart. And we are looking forward to seeing how it grows over the next four days. But it's time now to head back to Nadine, who's back in the registration area. And let me see, it looks like she's found some more delegates to speak with. Over to you. Yes, indeed, I have. And this time I've got Jonathan with me. And Jonathan, welcome. You're going to introduce yourself. So who are you? Where are you from? Thank you. Uh, so my name is John Watkins. I'm the editor of Global Custodian magazine with the uh, leading security services tile, title. Um, and yeah, I'm from uh, the UK. And look at me, Jonathan. I know it must be hard, but you've been to Cybos, haven't you? Three yes. times before. Yes. So you've done Singapore. You were in Boston yep. and now Geneva. That's right. So I've had to have a lot less coffee than normal to get me through this morning. I'm yeah. on the right time zone. So. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a change, doesn't it? Yeah, no jet right. lag. Yeah. So just tell us about what you're hoping to get out of Cybos this year. Um, we're, we're looking at a lot of technology trends. So again, blockchain is another big topic uh, for us and our readers. Um, even though it was discussed last year, people still want to know more about it and what, what it can do. Um, we're also looking at uh, cybersecurity quite a lot. Um, so yeah. That's, that's a lot of uh, tech themes again this year for us. So as an editor, what's the pressures on you to bring back stories? <laughs> Just tell us about the process. Well, we're, we're in all the panels. Um, yeah, we've got uh, three or four of us on the ground, so we're, we're uh, spreading ourselves across the conference and, and reporting live. And we always hope to get the story by the end of, end of the talk. So uh, we're doing that and mixing in a few interviews uh, around the conference floor as well. So obviously a big theme this year is going to be cyber security. Yes. So is that on your mind? Is that on the magazine's mind? My mind personally? Yes. I'm, I'm always worried about uh, cyber security. But yeah, um, for our magazine, if you get a chance to see our magazine floating around the conference, our, our front page for this issue, uh, for the cyber special, is cyber security. So we're looking uh, not just computer hacking, but psychological manipulation and how um, cyber attacks have evolved into more... Um, you know, things like fishing and literally, uh, actually walking into places and trying to um, you know, get, get details from people. So it's, it's, we feel like it's, it's evolved and uh, people are very, very concerned about it. Absolutely, because obviously at one time that fishing and farming that you spoke about yes. was directed at smaller players or internet-based mm -hmm. companies. Yep. But there's been a concerted effort, hasn't there, to get those bigger institutions, hence why I think it's on everybody's mind this year. Yeah. I don't see it as a problem going away. I mean, there's a real concerted effort to tackle it. Mm. What, what's your thoughts on what the industry could be doing? I think it's, I think it's evolving the threat the whole time. And I think, uh, I think what people need to do, or the industry itself needs to do, is uh, educate its staff from, from top to bottom, from the senior executives to the people at the, uh, the reception desk at the, uh, you know, in their own buildings and make them aware of the threats and, and what they can do to, uh, to guard against them. Now, fintech, uh, big last year, still continues to be yes. so. A lot on blockchain last year, and I'm sure that will feature through, although I think cybersecurity and technology might just nudge it out slightly. And um, reg tech as well, so regulation technology. Yes. 
Are you on to that yet, or are you still focusing on fintech? I think both of them are equally as important at the moment. I think for, for blockchain, even though it was talked about a lot last year, people are still interested in its uses. How long is it going to take before we actually see use cases? Um, so there's a lot of questions around and, and what it can do for the industry. So hey, maybe we'll be seeing it next year as well. Well, Jonathan, have a great time. And great. you must check out our videos on what to do in Geneva. Jonathan, we'll have a fantastic Cybos. And I've found somebody else now, which is very exciting. You look like you're texting someone at the moment. Who have I got here? Hello, what's Hello. your name and where are you from? Look at me. Uh, Martin. Martin? Yes. So where, what company are you from, Martin? I'm from Pacific Private Bank. It's a bank located in Vanuatu in South Pacific. In South Pacific, so yeah. that sounds very glamorous. Is it as glamorous as it sounds? <laughs> no, it's not as glamorous as it sounds. <laughs> it's nice to live in an island though, but uh, it's fun also to travel to big cities like yeah. last year in Singapore, this year I'm here in uh, Geneva. You're in Geneva, so what are you hoping to get out of Cybos this year? Uh, we, we, we come here with my colleague in order to be up to date with all the banking subject, what is happening, because we're quite remote, so being remote is important to participate with uh, that grand heaven that is Cybos. We are to meet our correspondent bank to see if there's possibility to find new correspondent bank because it's getting more and more difficult to get partner to do business with when you're in Vanuatu. So you're looking for a partner of yeah. the banking kind? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. To yes. do transaction, we need to get access to uh, US dollars, the more difficult, yeah. the most difficult one nowadays to get access with because we're too small to bank directly with US and the other bank they're de de-risking, so it's difficult to get. Well, I them. think this is going to be the perfect place. So enjoy Cybos. I don't want to get in the way of you finding a partner. So I'll see you soon. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you very much. Okay. And I think I found somebody else. Hello there, sir. Yeah, hi. Hi. So you, you've just happened to pass by in the registration zone. Yeah. Who are you and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. And uh, I'm representing Azizi Bank. Azizi Bank is the largest banking group in Afghanistan. And I'm here for the first time in Cybos. Wow, well, welcome to you. So any idea of what you're hoping to see over the next four days? Have you got a plan? Oh, yeah, we are here with a definite plan, of course. Uh, Afghanistan is a, is a challenging country. Yeah. Everyone knows that, you know. It's a war-torn country, and uh, there have been a lot of challenges for banks. And uh, we are here to meet our existing correspondent of bank relationships. And we're also here to develop new relationships because, as I said, Afghanistan is a very challenging country and it's really hard to find a correspondent bank to work with us, you know. So um, well, I hope that my four days of meetings out here would be good, would be great for the bank. Brilliant. That's it. Well, good luck with that. We wish you all the very best. Well, there you go, Stephen. We've got plenty of people down in the registration zone, and hopefully that's brought you a flavour of what the delegates are expecting. Back to you. All right, thanks, Lana Dean. It's true indeed. There are a lot of people there with many expectations, hoping to meet up with others and, and get some networking going. Well, it is time for us to head off for a bit, but we'll be back for lunch with Cyboss and Cyboss Today. We'll bring you the news and exclusive interviews with the industry's biggest names. Next, it's back to the conference program here on Cyboss TV and the opening of the compliance stream session. But for now, from both of us, goodbye.